the Stellar City project is one of the most engaged and energetic projects that I've been involved in for, for quite a long time and supported hundreds of individual researchers and um, standards development uh, experts uh, across your um, multiple jurisdictions. So it's truly an agnostic um, uh, standards development and funding agency. Stand ICT was a very good project, uh, supported uh, well uh, all the different experts on global and international standardization activities. The project brought all the people together to work on standardization in a good atmosphere and I think this is uh, for, from the community very much appreciated. Stand ICT for us has been a great enabler to bring our national experts into the international arena. Those people that are sometimes restricted from traveling because of funding have now been given that funding that they need to explore free, uh, into the freedom of international standards. And in many cases, they've been leading the way um, in the committees that they've been uh, involved in. Knowledge hasn't been wasted, and as you know, many of our, many of the experts they kind of carry a lot of wisdom and knowledge with them. So this has enabled them to be able to share it and to continue um, their work, and also to um, learn from other experts. So I think this um, ICT has standard ICT has really um, opened a, um, entered a gap that is is very useful. I hope it just continues with its work. I had the great opportunity with Standard CT to uh, participate to some standardization activity and this gave me the opportunity to do things that I was interested in that probably I would have never been able to uh, realize. The main priorities of the new European Commission are the green transition and digital sovereignty. Standards are an essential part of achieving these aims and we think the STAND ICT workshop is evidence of the impact that this project has had in raising the profile and the contribution of Europe and the European Union to ICT standardization globally. STAND ICT has had a significant impact on the standardization activities that are going on in Europe and even globally. It's not always easy to participate in uh, international standardization. It's time consuming, you need a lot of resources. Meetings may take uh, part in many different regions of the world. That's why providing a uh, continuous support uh, to the European experts would mean a lot uh, in terms of defending European interests.